NASA astronaut Sunny Williams and Tennessee native Butch Wilmore are on their way back to Earth after spending months in space. Aaron Velasquez joins us from the newsroom. Aaron, it has been quite a journey just to get to this point. That's exactly right, Heather. The two first left for space in June for what was supposed to be around a week long trip. That trip turned out to be nearly nine months in space, a trip so long Wilmore missed most of his daughter's senior year of high school. It's, he's, it started all the way back in June of last year. The two astronauts traveled to the ISS on the new Boeing Starliner, but a slew of issues with the Starliner forced NASA to delay and ultimately cancel using the spacecraft for the return trip. By late August, NASA turned to Elon Musk's company SpaceX. The new mission was set for last week, but then it got scrubbed less than 45 minutes before liftoff. SpaceX did have a successful takeoff last Friday after the new crew members safely arrived at the ISS. SS. Earlier this morning, it was finally time for Wilmore and Williams' turn to journey back to Earth. Their journey back from the ISS is expected to take around 17 hours. NASA estimates their splashdown to happen around 6 this evening. NASA officials are expected to hold a press conference around 7.30 tonight. As for Butch and Sonny, they will, be, they will head back to Houston after they land back on the Earth. Heather will send things back to you. You know, it's going to be a big celebration too. Finally back home. Aaron, thank you so much.